I was six. My mom and dad were taking me to the zoo. I was so excited. They knew this could keep me busy, at least for a little while before becoming bored. We got out of the car a few blocks away. My mom gave me five dollars and told me this was all I had to spend on games or souvenirs for the day. Back then, five dollars might as well have been a million. God damn it. This apartment is a mess. It's nothing I can't fix. Though it would be nice for Colin to help for once. He's been living here rent-free for upwards of three months now. I don't think he has any intention of getting a job. I love the kid, and I get he's trying to push past his stuff with his parents. He's one of the very few people that don't annoy me. Oh my god. 25 milligram high. had to have gone through at least like fucking six of them. Broke them up. We were just like had to learn how to actually like, like make the lines split shit. them three piece. We're just going through dollar bills. People just don't make any sense to me. I can't really elaborate on much of how I feel lately. or control it. Anyway, as my parents and I were walking towards the zoo, I saw something that startled me. A homeless man was begging at the corner. I had never seen one before and didn't understand. His sign said he was starving and needed money for food. One person passing even spit at the man's feet. You all right? It was a crazy night, dude. Is that a little... Do you want to once, you know? No biggie. God damn it, Cody, man. Cody? Bible school Cody? <laughs> That's the one. Wow, impressive. Wait, it's Colin. She'll dump him after seeing sugar on his nose before dessert. So, I asked my parents if I could give the man my five dollars. They scolded me saying I shouldn't interfere, it's just not normal. She said the man had control over everything that got him there. Why the fuck are we living like this? What are you doing today? You gotta work a split. I think I'm gonna uh, call up Chloe and see what time she wants to go out tonight. Uh, do you mind covering me for lunch? Uh, thanks, man. Um, did I tell you I got a job? No. Yeah, oh. Uh, I played at Fry Talks last week. Basically, the whole week, me and John just kept going in for drinks and bugging the fuck out of them until they said I got the job. Yeah. Start at four tomorrow. Um, if here's your day off, would you mind give me a ride? Yeah, that's fine. What the fuck do you want from me? Sweet, thanks, man. Oh, uh, we're out of whiskey. I'll pick some up. Cool, cool. Well, um, have fun at work. I'll see you later, man.
I hate work. I can't take this anymore. You need to pull your shit together. What are you talking about, dude? What, is it? what does it look like I've been doing? Getting a job. Dating a straight edge. It's the same bullshit. I know you. You can't fuck with me like you fuck with your parents. <laughs> I thought you were chill, dude. What the fuck? You know, Brian, you know shit's been hectic for me. It's dude. always been hectic. Like, you think you build up a tolerance to it. I mean, you build up a tolerance to every other substance known to man. This is just about me getting high. It's way past that. You're not making any sense, dude. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> Just don't talk to me today. And get this shit cleaned up. Hey. Brian? What? Could I get a ride to work? I'm already almost an hour late. Yeah, that's fine. Anybody home? Fuck. Come on. Come on. So my parents didn't want me to. But at six years old, I couldn't just not help that man. My mom didn't realize that I did have control over what was next for him. Chance to do something right. So you had to work at four. Yeah. AM. Best $5 I ever spent.